Yeah, good morning, guys. And we are seeing some significant damage in some neighborhoods around here in summers. This thing had actually traveled for about two miles, according to the National Weather Service. So I want to pull up a map right now showing the path that this tornado took. So it all started on Colonial Drive. That is where it touched down, as you can see right there. And then it tracked to the north northeast, impacting Lake Drive just south of Shady Lake, Kibbe Drive, a portion of Main Street, Battle Street, and ended around Hickory Hill Drive. And right now we are on Lake Drive and I want you to take a look right here behind me because we are seeing some damage out here. This massive tree just tipping over into some backyards around here. So definitely some scary moments for neighbors around here playing out last night, including one of those neighbors who lives here, Kathy Devlin. And we are joined by Kathy right now. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us. You live in this house right here, yeah. feet away from this tree, as we can see here behind us. This thing really just taking you and your husband by surprise. Can you tell us what exactly happened last night? Well, around 6.15, the, the sky got a little dark and then all of a sudden the wind was coming and we could see the trees spinning and as the top would fall off as it would spin it would fly high up in the air and a lot of debris was following it from other places and we were really worried because we saw that large um, tree the hickory tree go down but when we went outside, we noticed a lot of devastation in this area. We were only thankful that many homes did not get ruined here and that we were safe from that. When you talk about the lack of notice here, just how it took you by surprise, yes. what was that like? What was going through you emotionally? I didn't know, whether to, I didn't know where to hide, and I, I wondered if I could just uh, leave the area, but it went by so very quickly. We didn't have a chance to do anything but just try to protect ourselves right where we were. And you mentioned the damage. We've got this big tree right here to our right. We've also got some branches thrown across the place as well. Yeah, but the down the street, the trees are all gone. The tops of the trees. And then down the street, we've got a big mess down there too. What Absolutely. are we seeing in terms of down there? Down there is greater devastation. They had, we had to, the entire neighborhood got together. Many of the people were just pulling out the debris and trying to get it off the road. I called the fire department and said, is there anything we can do? We're in the middle of a tornado. They were shocked, but they were here in minutes. And then the DPW came, the police came, and they just noticed the problems, and they were very helpful to get us through it. That's awesome to hear. And fortunately, no major property damage, no injuries that you know of, right? No, 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 nothing around the, tr the homes are hit. One had um, some loss of shingles and many trees around that home. But this mess will be here for a while until we can figure out how to get rid of it. That um, hickory tree is so large, it's going to be a, a, a challenge for us as well. And you just talked about that, but the cleanup process, I mean, these are very large trees, yeah. especially down the street there. Yeah. What does that look like? We've got people coming by for quotes, right? Yes, they're coming by to ask how, uh, if they can add a, bring in a quote for us to get this cleaned up. And do you know how long this would be expected to take, estimated to take? Um, I'm going to say about a week. And in between that time, you know, we'll see what we can do when favorable prices. And last question, as you wake up this morning and just take a look at everything that happened last night, what's going through your mind? How are you feeling? I was kind of depressed, but at the same point, I felt so grateful that nobody was injured and no one really lost anything much. And we'll work together. That's how this community is. It's wonderful. Yeah, that is awesome to hear in this in the midst of this devastation out here. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us this oh, morning. You're welcome. Yeah, and coming up in the next hour, we're actually gonna be going down the street and showing you a look at the damage there because it is just a mess of large trees. So stick around for that. But for now, reporting live here in Summers, I'm Angela Bavar, Fox 61 News.